And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a new version of Scout Aggro. Um, we're going to be trying something a little different because of the War Chef's nerf in the two mana slot. Um, I don't, I'm not really that interested in playing War Chefs. I want to replace it. But they also buffed up this Jagged Taskmaster, a card that I already thought was good. Now it's a two drop, it's a two mana three two, so it kind of fits perfectly into that slot. So we're going to play Jagged Taskmaster. Now, since we're playing Jagged Taskmaster, um, it, that does start to hurt our allegiance. And so I'm going to, and so because of Taskmaster, we're going to just not play Bannerman um, without having the War Chefs. So we don't have to worry about our allegiance. And instead, in the four mana slot, I'm going to play a card that I think is always, that I've always thought is very good um, in these scout decks. And that's Island Navigator, because we don't have to worry about the Demacia Allegiance. So now we get Island Navigator, and Island Navigator is going to be even better because we're getting the one cost follower. And so our one cost followers are going to get that plus one plus one with the Taskmaster. So that works well together. So we're able to have Petty Officer create a one drop, Island Navigator create a one drop, you know, our, our Jagged Taskmaster make the one drop. Um, that thing's not, yeah, that's a three drop. <laughs> um, so we have all those making the one drops. And then as far as our one drops go, uh, the last choice is really to play um, either to play Crackshot Corsair or Scythria. And there we go. Scythria or Crackshot Corsair. And I'm not sure. Scythria is going to be better in uh, combat, like attacking and blocking against other units with that extra power. That would be really important. But Crackshot Corsair can also sit back and do that, that extra damage. Um, I think that with the Taskmaster, I'm going to be going with the Corsair. Because if we unlock a Taskmaster and give them both plus one, plus one, or plus one, plus zero, I think instead, I could either have a three, two, or a two, two, that whenever you attack does one to them. And I think at that point, I'd rather have the two, two that deals one. I think that's worth more than the extra power. So we're going to try that out. And plus, you know, Corsair is just upgraded. Let's give it a try because it's a new card. It's always good to try new cards. So yeah, we got even more scouts in here with the Navigator. We got a new two drop with Taskmaster, a new one drop with Corsair. So it'll be interesting to try out our new version of Scouts. I, I just think Scythria and Genevieve are both amazing, and so we're, we're playing uh, five total six drops because I think they're both just really, really good. All right, so here we go. New Scout aggro. We're going to go play this over in Ranked. And let's see how we do. Um, after this, we're going to be playing Midrange Frostbite. First time I'm playing that since uh, Call of the Mountain was released. Playing against another deck going big. So far today, every deck that we've played against has been a deck going big. That could be a sign. That's what it's all about these days. Rangers resolve good against Avalanche. Hello. Alright, so we're still playing Scythria. <laughs> Not the stink of blood and sweat. And because we have Rangers Resolve, I don't need to be too worried about Avalanche. All hands on deck. They don't need riches. Yeah, Trundle can definitely be difficult. Trundle's a very good card. I'm just going to let that happen. I don't think that's worth the Ranger's Resolve. Gosh. Man, I want to... So I want to play another Petty Officer, but now they have Ice Quake mana. Man, those ramp cards. I already have Ice Quake. But my third attack. Hmm. Oh, do you want to get back to work? What? No! Oh my gosh. I feel like move my microphone or something. <laughs> Just played the wrong card. Can't see some of my cards. Alright, so anyway, I decided against playing around Ice Quake, as you can tell. My shield is yours. My shield is yours. 
Um, Ranger's Resolve was a disaster. What does more damage, Misfortune or Genevieve? I guess it's actually Misfortune. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's Misfortune. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. These are fair and the wind pulling. We sail. Hi, boss. Honor guide me. Runs to splinters. Still barely lethal right now. Not anymore. I do love you. So close. So close. Another deck going really big. She who wanders. It's a rough one. Alright, this looks like a good one, two, three, four. We're gonna be playing the Corsair on one, attacking, dealing damage with that, and then playing Jagged Taskmaster. Alright, here we go. Apple's Aristocrat's kind of annoying. Wow. Not expecting that. Not expecting that. What's my opponent doing over here? Looking for trouble. It found you. So I think it does make sense to play the Grizzled Ranger first. Um, before attacking and, and getting two attacks in with the scout with the Grizzled Ranger. This deck's a little different. Unlike guiding, my brethren. Slow down, will you? Even though I could go right to attacks and attack with like the Flea Feather Tracker, deal damage to them, and then go double Taskmaster. That's only going to trade with the priestess, but we want more attacks with mis for misfortune. Believe or burn. Oh, that hurts. And they've had a, a really good hand at disrupting what I'm trying to do. Really good anti-aggro hand. I've got us covered. It's kind of a str strange block. Block probably makes more sense. Uh, we are currently in Masters. Core deck, we only needed one and at the beginning of the day. And we won our first one with Teemo Swain Control. And we are now there. War is everlasting. The 
dangerous waters? Hmm. They've had a, just a <laughs> perfect hand at stopping what I'm trying to do. Really have. This is our way. Captain's orders. Roll it to the face. So yeah, Corsair working out well here. Getting the yeah, the Corsair works well with the Taskmaster. really even that great of an attack, but I don't really have other options. And their hand was just perfect against us. So I put the Crackshot Corsair first, because that's that's my best of the three twos. So if they wanted Neverglade Collector to block it, it would have been first, which they probably should have done. Two Corsairs trying to attack in and, and get that damage in. I'll show you how it's done. Captain's orders. Oh. And of course, I would prefer to play the Queen before combat, but just going to do this. What do you like? Because I definitely want that Valor. We would not have been able to get Valor. Oh, come on. Why? Needed Valor to, cha to challenge this Neverglade Collector. Crack shot Corsair last. Going well, it's a close game. Um, still, even with even with how great their hand was against me, we still got them. You know, down to what two? The crack shot corsair did look really good. Uh, so they get to attack and put a really soul into play, and the, the game's most likely over. I would, I would imagine. Maybe if we draw misfortune. Every wave is a path. Or if this thing would have been elusive. Man, even these never like collectors. No, there's no ladder reset on Monday. Ladder only resets every two months. Oh, I definitely can't call. Ladder only resets, yeah, every two months. Whenever, basically, when there's the new set out, that's when it resets. You know, take down never like collector. Okay, got a little bit more of our top end. Misfortune, Gangplank. Oh, this this hand's just really awkward altogether. We're gonna send it all back. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, I like this more. I'm gonna be saving the Fleet Feather Tracker 
Okay, because in case they had a, a one drop to block, like if they also had a one drop, I'd rather have my 2-2 two -two trade with their one drop than my Fleet Feather Tracker. Okay, we get to attune one. I'll be good mana for our zero spells. This is going pretty good for us. Just continue continue to trade. We're going to have Quinn next turn with our scouts. Um, we can also use Quinn's champion spell, which is Valor, because of that attune. So we actually will have the champion spell. Oh my gosh, we got a single combat. How about that? That could be good. Aren't any gods here? Just me. Um, let's see, so I could do 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I could do 13 damage to them this turn. Then my Quinn would be dead. No, we're going to keep Quinn alive. Because basically, I could have played the I could have played this Valor and then challenged both of those and then hit him with these two and then attack again with these. Um, I'm gonna keep the Quinn alive. Do another challenge over here. You can't do this. No. All right, so they're down to four. You wanted wrath. That's a good draw. We'll play Island Navigator and Crackshot Corsair this turn. Maybe just the Island Navigator and hold up single combat. So we can play Genevieve on my turn and get the bonus on my turn. The ocean whispers her secrets. Hang them by her entrails. We can just take that. Alright, GG's. There we go. Alright, playing against uh, Misfortune at Gangplank. With Shadow Isles. Could be like Gangplank Nightfall. It's a cool deck. Um, which one of these four mana cards would I rather keep? Maybe Island Navigator? I guess everybody plays Grizzled Ranger over Island Navigator, but that's usually with the Vanguard Bannerman. I'm going to keep Island Navigator. Actually, maybe we just get rid of both of them. Just look for more cheaper cards. Okay, I'm kind of glad we got rid of both of them. If we're going to have Genevieve, Genevieve, yeah. Now I'm definitely glad we have just gotten rid of all of those with this curve. Not much counterplay to our scout aggro deck here. We're just going to be kind of casting our stuff on curve. Not too much interaction. I mean, Taskmaster is not as good as old War Chefs, for sure, but um, you know, we don't live in a world of old War Chefs anymore. So just playing the Bright Steel Protector to get it down right now, because of course we're going to play the Grizzled Ranger here. The Grizzled Ranger just trades with the Affectionate Poro. 
think it's still worth it. I wish this was Island Navigator, though. Let's do that. GG's, good Mega Rain. Good Mega Rain. So I'm just going to keep the Ranger's Resolve instead of attacking in with those. Definitely wish I didn't play the Grizzled Ranger last turn, obviously. I would have had the Ranger's Resolve for that Mega Ring, but. I wonder if Mega Ring's a card that we should be playing. I wonder if that's like a way to get an additional spell in here. We don't have to worry about the Allegiance with, with not playing Bannerman, so don't need to worry about that. All right, Genevieve, you're going to have to be better than five cards in their hand. It's a lot of cards. Who's ready for a show? Their pride will cost them. Here we go. Say your farewells. Hell of a day. Blood next turn, our Genevieve Elmhart, our next attack turn, Genevieve Elmhart can pump up the, the fir this one can pump up this one to be six power, so it can just trade with the jack. So instead of me sacrificing this to do seven damage to them, um, gonna hold on to it. Store the rations, shackle the prisoners! It's kind of difficult. How um, for I've done. Stalking Shadows Petty Officer, pretty awesome. Double bear for the next kill. Stalking Shadows is just an awesome card. You wanted wrath. With me. We haven't seen six mana Scythria the whole time, have we? I don't think so. I don't think we've played, seen that card at all. Be in the water. All right, so we're killing these two things. We're gonna single combat. Um, over here, get rid of the Rex. Alright, get rid of that, get rid of this. I just want to get rid of the 3 2. Wait. Why don't I just do this? Okay. Yeah, this works. Um, so, okay. Alright. Change this up. So we'll do 2 and 1. I guess I can. I can. Uh, yeah, we can do this, so then our Genevieve Elmhart is not dead yet, the 6-1. Six, the six and now the 6-1 can challenge the 5-6. This can challenge the 3-2. My complete! There we go. 
All right, no cards in hand. They got three cards in hand. We have three in play. Don't think we've seen a challenge or a champion this game. I don't think we've seen a champion this game. Should play Taskmaster last turn. Should play it last turn. Got an extra three-two attacker. Stalking Shadows is awesome. Okay, so same champions for our opponent, Misfortune, at Gangplank, but this time Noxus. Uh, so they're going with the Burn Heavy version. I think we're going to just keep all of these. Maybe I shouldn't have a second Crackshot Corsair. Or a third. <laughs> I'll shoot the wings off a of bilge wasp. I deal in coins and carnage. In range. Captain's orders. Not my first gun fight. All right, so good. I'm, I'm kind of glad we played this other one first instead of going right to attacks because they were going to kill that. Um, they're going to kill that other one anyway. So I think that worked out pretty well. War Mason, reporting for duty. The few for the many. Rock if you work, burn if you don't. <laughs> one one tough. You started without me. Alright, we'll take that trade. Thank you. Maybe not. Nope. Misfortune. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. Careful when you Well of course I was planning on going with the barrier. Um, but misfortune it does. Help us out quite a bit. Ooh, that Island Navigator is awesome. That's a good card. So Petty, if I attack with Petty Officer, it trades with Demolitionist. Yeah, I think we... Yeah, we're going to make this attack. Kind of clear up two spots for me. Say your farewell. Now they'll have a 3-1 <clears throat> that we're able to trade with the 3-1 with the Crackshot Corsair. And we're actually going to have a Scythria the Bold next turn. That's going to be awesome. No, I don't like that. My shield is yours! Uh, I guess I should have done that after the, the first attack, shouldn't I? Alright, so Misfortune's gonna die. <laughs> they'll have their 3 1 challenge, my Misfortune. There's plenty of killing there. This is our way. All 
Okay, cool. Thank you, wizard. Okay, let's play Arsithria. And let's attack. Right now they have one thing they can block. Besides blocking the Scythria, of course. Keep up, keep up. Alright, so they'll throw, they can throw any of these in front of the Scythria. And this is 14 damage. 4, 8, 10, 12, 14. Make it worth my while. So not quite lethal. Scythria is pretty awesome. Maybe we need to go back and having having our third Scythria in here, too. Having these top-end cards like um, Scythria and Genevieve are just so important. You know, our deck, we really need Misfortune, Quinn. There we go. Um, Genevieve and Scythria, like those four cards. So I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to get turn this into a 2-3. Depends if they're going to be able to kill my Scythria or not. It's a very good sign. I don't really want my Valor to die to Affection of Poro. Well, that's a heck of a draw. Make everything fearsome. Stands in our way. Let's go with the little guys first. All right, there we go. GG's two and three. All right, so. You know, with the scout aggro, you're not you're not interacting with the opponent that much. You're just playing your things out, trying to curve out the best you can, and attack as much as you can with curving out. Um, the deck felt okay. No, it wasn't it wasn't perfect. It seemed like you know everybody was basically ready for us and stuff like that. Um, thank you, Bob. That was a good win right there. Thank you. Um, just got the single combats as like our basically our only spell besides the Ranger's Resolve that <laughs> that first game I accidentally cast. Didn't mean to. Taskmaster was okay. Um, we certainly missed old War Chefs, but we're you know there is old War Chefs isn't coming back. You know like we're not in that world right now. So as far as playing another two mana card to go with with Bright Steel Protector, it was okay. Um, you know like we we were freak. Frequently pumping up our one cost allies, give them plus one plus zero. Um, the two mana slot is really uh, is really lacking now. I mean, we could play hired gun, I guess, instead. But it's it's really lacking now. Where when you have like, there's a lot of good three mana options that we're not playing. Like all of these are like just fine three mana options that we're not playing. And there's even other good one mana options that we're not playing. But the two mana slot. War Chefs really was the key card there. Um, these other options just aren't, you know, are not nearly as good. But Taskmaster was just fine though. Um, but anyway, that's that's a uh, Scout Aggro. So those y'all watching it later on YouTube, let me know what you think of this new version of Scout Aggro. Uh, let me know what you think of the Taskmaster and Island Navigator and stuff like that. Um, any other ideas you have for this deck moving forward? Uh, most likely without War Chefs. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.